guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to film a hair tutorial today. This is just how I style my hair when I just want to get like a down and curled look. It's not anything intense. This is just what I do. Um, a lot of times just when I'm getting ready for anything, this is like my go-to look. And before I get started, I wanted to go ahead and let you know about a couple products that I've been trying that are new that if you've watched my previous makeup tutorial, makeup tutorial, I, you saw like what I normally do on a regular get ready day, like with my makeup. But I've done a few things differently lately and I forgot to show you one thing. So I wanted to just do a little bit of an update for you on those things. So the first thing that I did do in my last video, but I forgot to show it, and I want to apologize now about my nails. I was going to go get them done before I did this video today, and I'm also filming my pregnancy vlog today, and I was going to go get my nails done, but I'm waiting on my crib to arrive. It's going to be delivered today, and let's see, it's 11 o'clock right now, and it was supposed to be delivered at 10, so I just need to finish, go on about my day. and get this video filmed, so I'm sorry that my nails are looking really bad today, but they need to get done. So I did use this in my last video. It's just, it's the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray, and I spray it all over my face. This is the oil control one, and I spray it all over my face after I do my makeup. And this is obviously really dirty, so that's just the reality of it. This is a dirty <laughs> bottle. I know some of you are going to think that's gross, but it's in my makeup bag, which is not clean. Another thing that I got was suggested to me by a subscriber, and it's the Benefit Gimme Brow. I really like this because it is easy to fill in your brows. It's, this is what the brush looks like. And it's really easy to fill in your brows with this. And I still, I still do use my regular brow powder to fill them in before I use this, but I think this just gives it like an overall really good finish and I'm really glad that I found this, so thank you to the person who suggested that. The next thing that I did today that was different than what I normally do is I, I used this on my waterline on the top lashes last time, but this time I decided instead of the white to use it on my bottom waterline just because sometimes you want to do something different and switch it up. And this is the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Waterproof Black um, Eyeliner. Now I wouldn't use this if it's not going to be used on your waterline. I wouldn't use it below the waterline on the top or bottom. It's very creamy and you're not going to get a thin straight line with this. This is more of like a thick smudged type look and then you would have to blend it with something else if you wanted to use it for a smoky eye but you're not going to get a thin eyeliner line out of this. The last thing that I did differently today is I started to use my highlighter which is this color right here, this one, and this is the Naked Urban Decay Flush Palette. And this is Strip, so it's a bronzer highlighter blush trio. And I used a little bit of the highlighter above my cheekbone and a little bit down the center of my face, and I think that it looks really nice. So those are my makeup updates for you, and now I'm gonna get started on how to do your hair. So I just pulled my hair out of a bun. I washed it last night, so it's still wet. So I'm gonna need to go through it with a blow dryer really quick just to dry, get all the wet spots dried up. at the end when you're done blow drying your hair to seal the cuticle so that it kind of just smooths out your hair a lot better. So when you're done blow drying, if you put it on cool and hit like the, a lot of them have like an icicle button that you can push and it'll just give like a cold blast to your hair and that's really good to keep like frizz down and just to keep your hair a little bit more sleek. I didn't do it today, not for any particular reason I just didn't do it but I wanted to point that out in case there were any of you who really need that extra step. 
step to keep your hair smoother. The curling iron that I use is a Pro Beauty Tools, and I want to say this is one or one and a half inches. I'm not absolutely positive. It's really old, so it's pretty dirty. It's I've had this for years, but I love this curling iron. It's not one of the wrap barrels. It's just a regular old curling iron. And I got this, like I'm pretty sure back in college, you can see it's like, it's it's a mess. But I got this back in college years ago whenever my truck got broken into and all of my really expensive hair tools were stolen out of my truck. So I had to just go and restock and I had to get stuff that was just like, not expensive because I had to restock on all my makeup and hair stuff at once so I just had to get like cheaper stuff so I actually got this at Walmart so you would never guess that this does like I like this on the end it makes it easier to curl and your and your cord isn't getting wrapped up I know a lot of them have this but I just really like this feature of it but yeah I think you can probably still get this at Walmart so that's awesome. So my curling iron doesn't take very long to heat up. So right now I'm just going to brush through my hair. After I wash my hair, and I use all sorts of different shampoos and conditioners. It really just depends on the day I have, I have a ton. But I'm going to just brush through my hair and it's not 100% dry. For me, if my hair is like 100% dry, it tends to, I mean, my hair holds curl no matter what I do, but if my hair is 100% dry, I mean, it is like, will be a total, total puff ball at the end of my styling. So sometimes I do start curling with it 100% dry, and sometimes it's just a little, not damp, I mean, it's barely, you can barely feel any moisture at all, but I'm just letting you know that my hair is not 100% bone dry. I also use a serum on my hair when I get out, and all it is, it's pure argan oil. I got it from Pura Dior, and it's just an argan oil, and it comes in a dropper bottle, and I really like putting that in my hair while it's still wet, because I feel like it is a really good serum to help keep your hair smooth, which is something that I really need with my hair. This is what it looks like. It comes in a little bag like this, and it's a serum like this and I can link this below for you guys if you are interested in purchasing it you can actually get 25% off if you use the code YouTube 25 now I'm just gonna start by sectioning my hair into two parts like this and this is where my hair just naturally parts so for my front piece right here I'm going to take like a semi-small section and I take my curling iron underneath like this, the clip goes underneath, flip it over the top and I curl it away from my face. Like this. And I do like one final little roll to the top and then I just let it out of the barrel like that. And I kind of do the same thing, a little bit different if it's not that very front piece, but I kind of just do the same thing away from my face on both sides. The clip goes underneath. Flip the hair over. And I don't hold it for very long at all. I don't need to, and the longer you hold it, the better chance of damaging your hair you'll have. And these look like really small pieces, but that's just because they're in the front and I need those to be um, really nice. So here's another piece, flip it back. So like I said before, I don't have like a special technique. This is a pretty standard way of curling your hair but you guys were asking and I know some people do curlers and teasing and all sorts of different 
techniques to get the ringlet curl look, but it also has to do with how heavy your hair is. If your hair is shorter or if you have thinner hair, it has a more, it's more likely to look more like Shirley Temple and bouncier and tighter curls. But since I have really heavy hair, it just naturally pulls the curl down. Before I did balayage, I just had really, really blonde platinum hair all over. And I told her I wanted to go a little bit more natural. And so she requested, or she not requested, she suggested balayage. And I really love it. Once you start getting bigger, thicker pieces of hair, because I do it, the further I go back on each side, I take a little bit bigger piece. The bigger piece you get, the further back you get, like the thicker the hair is, the more time you need to spend holding the curling iron on the hair. Like in the front, I don't hold it barely, I don't hold it very long at all. But the further back I get, the more, when I'm taking like big pieces like this, because this is a pretty big piece, I'll hold it on a little bit longer with the curling iron. And now it just depends on where the piece is on your head for the positioning of the barrel and the clip. So like you saw that time, I didn't have it upside down. I, I, I put it in right side up. It, the hair went straight under the clip and the clip was on top. It just depends on where on your head the piece of hair is that you are curling. That depends on which side the clip should be on, if that makes sense. But after you've been doing it for a long time, it just kind of becomes like second nature. There's, It's not hard anymore. But at first, when you're first starting out doing this to your hair, it can be kind of confusing. So see how the clip is on top now? That's just because of where it's positioned where the piece of hair is positioned. And I'm sure there are people out there who are gonna say, oh, I'm doing it completely wrong. And that's fine. I don't really care if I'm doing it wrong. This is just how I do my hair. You probably noticed that I kind of let the hair slide out and I go a little bit more towards the end before I start curling. People have mixed emotions about doing it that way, but that's how I do it. <laughs> you kind of just want it to slide out. Now, these are falling a little bit looser because my hair is not fully dry, but that's kind of what I wanted today. I just didn't want to have like a big, furry, <laughs> puffy head of hair today. Being pregnant, my hair does not do the same. Uh, just doesn't work out the same as it used to. It just looks more like, I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like my hair like is aging. I don't know if that's making sense. Like it's not getting thinner. It's just like the texture is changing. And it's kind of weird, but it just doesn't do the exact thing that it used to do. This is gonna be a really thick piece of hair, but since it's the very last one, I want this one to be the longest. When it, when my hair is all down, I want it to be kind of like a layered effect of curls. And so this, I'm gonna take a bigger piece because the bigger piece you take, the less curly the hair turns out. If your hair doesn't hold curl very well, you probably won't be able to take big pieces. You'll probably have to take really small pieces and you'll have to use a lot of hairspray or some sort of setting spray or mousse or gel. My hair holds curls so much that I don't need very much of it at all. So you've probably noticed that I haven't been using that at all this whole time. The only product in my hair is the Pura Dior Argan Oil. So this side is semi done. This is all I'm gonna do to this side right now. So now I'm gonna start with the other side. So this front piece isn't the same. I'm gonna pull it back like this, away from my face. And I'm gonna point, because my, my hair part is going to the left. 
So this side I do differently than this side. This, on this side, the barrel, the clip's gonna be in the front. I'm gonna be pointing it straight up like this. Clip right here. That just goes back to whichever way the hair is positioned on your head. You get a different effect from each way that you hold the barrel and each way that you curl. Again, I'm like holding this away. And this is like a wide piece, but it's not super thick. And you, you don't have to follow these exact steps. You don't have to do, you don't have to take the same thickness of pieces, the same width of pieces. This is really just guidelines. You can do it any number of ways and you'll still get um, the same effect. It's basically just a matter of practice. You can kind of toss the hair around however you need to in order to get to the pace that you need to get to. Some people use clips. I used to use clips and then one of my friends started was doing it like this and I was watching her one day. I was like, that looks easy enough. So then after enough practice, I don't have to use clips anymore because I think that sometimes when you use clips, it leaves little like indentions where the clip is and that bothers me. Right after I do my hair, I don't know if I want to go over it again. I just want to move on. <laughs> I'm not like a fan of getting ready. I honestly don't get ready very often because I just, I don't enjoy it. Sometimes I don't feel like it's necessary. I wish that I could get ready every day, even when I'm at home, but it just doesn't make sense. I feel like sometimes it could just be a waste of time. <laughs> Yay, my last piece. Now I'm probably gonna have to touch it up. Sometimes I don't, but most of the time I'll have to do a few touch-ups here and there. Okay, let's see. Now I kind of just like fluff it out here. Kind of just fluff it out like this at the root, all over so that the curls kind of come apart. So that is the look I was going for. Tie this up on my bum. This thing comes undone all day long. Um, this is the look I was really going for. I don't know how it looks from the back, so I'm about to check on that. But I just think it's a really nice, like mermaidy, flowy look. And I think it's really flattering for most people. But like I said, I didn't blow dry my hair all the way. Had I blow dried my hair all the way, this would be a lot puffier and I just wanted to avoid the puffiness. Yeah, so my mirror is broken, but the back looks pretty good. Sometimes I'll do touch-ups up here and sometimes I'll clip it back, but I think for the most part, this is what I was going for. If you want to spray a hairspray over it, if your hair doesn't hold very well, you can. Like I said, mine holds too well, so I'm not going to spray, I'm not gonna do a spray on mine today, but that's another option that you can include. But I hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment, let me know like what you do when you curl your hair, if you do it the same way or differently, or if I did anything that you didn't really understand and you have questions or, um, if, if there's something else I need to show. And then I'd also like for you guys to comment and let me know which types of hair and makeup tutorials you would like to see next. Because now you've seen my everyday makeup look and I've updated you on the new makeup I'm using. Just a couple things that are new. And you've seen my, my, curled, my curled hair look. So now let me know what else you're, you guys are interested in seeing. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.